Hey, South Rock, we are two days away from our first in-person worship service in a long time. 99 days ago, we had our first online only worship weekend. It's been 99 days, but this Saturday and Sunday, we'll meet together again live and in person. I wanna encourage you to RSVP online for this weekend. Since we haven't met in so long, we wanna make sure that we have room for everyone, so this will be very helpful. It's not required, so if for some reason you just don't wanna RSVP like everybody else is doing, you're still welcome to come. However, if you do RSVP, you'll be able to see how many vacant seats are left in each service, which might be helpful for you while you're trying to decide which service you want to attend. A lot of work has gone into making sure that we're ready for you this weekend. Tomorrow, we're having the building professionally sanitized and we'll have crews cleaning before and after every service. This building will be cleaner than any place in town, even your own house. We'll continue our online services on Sunday mornings. Our tech team led by Cameron and Bryant continues to make improvements every week so that you can have a fantastic worship experience at home. And I know some of you have health issues or concerns about being out in public with hundreds of people at this time. I totally understand that and appreciate that. I want you to know that you're just as much a part of South Rock Christian Church family, whether you're worshiping here in this building or watching from your living room or your lake house. For that reason, we've gone to some great lengths to make sure your online experience is something special. If you're watching online, I wanna encourage you to check in and let us know you're there. It's just an extra few seconds of your time to do so, but we would really appreciate that. And be sure to log on a few minutes early so that we can connect with you. It's been a tough few months in our country and in our world, and it seems like everything that has been happening has caused division. Feelings are running high. The one place there should be absolutely no division is in the church. Love God, love people. That's what we're striving to do. That's what God calls us to do. Love the one true God and love all people. But in our world, we just see fighting and complaining and criticism and tempers flaring. You know, so easy to get caught up in that. Whether it's arguing your views about COVID-19 or civil unrest and protest or the road rage you feel when people in front of you are driving too slow. It might be that your blizzard had all the good stuff on the top and it wasn't mixed very well, or they forgot to include your sauce when you went through the drive through We can get angry at so many things. Some of those things are very important and some really don't matter at all. When you're about to lash out, consider this scripture we talked about last weekend from Philippians 2 verses 14 and 15. Do everything without complaining or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a crooked and depraved generation in which you shine like stars of the universe as you hold out the word of life. You know, it's so easy to fight our battles the same way the world does and so we become like them. Or we can follow God's instruction and strive to be like Jesus Christ and shine. Let's take the high road. We can do this. I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend, whether in person or online. Have a great weekend.